how dams hold back billions of liters of water. Welcome to Essentials of Engineering. Every second, millions of liters of water crash against a wall, and yet it doesn't move. That wall is a dam, a silent giant holding back entire rivers to provide power, water, and protection. But have you ever wondered how can a structure stand firm against so much force? Let's dive into the engineering behind dams and how they hold back billions of liters of water. The purpose of a dam. Dams are built for many reasons to generate hydroelectric power, to store water for cities and agriculture, to control floods, and even to create recreational lakes. But regardless of purpose, the challenge is the same. Holding back massive water pressure safely for decades. The power of water pressure. Water is heavy. One cubic meter weighs a ton. So when you have a wall of water, tens or hundreds of meters high, the pressure pushing on that wall is enormous. The deeper the water, the stronger the force. That's why dam walls are thickest at the bottom, to resist the pressure where it is greatest. The secret, shape and structure. There are three main types of dams, each with its own way of fighting water force. Gravity dams, like the Uva Dam, they use their weight to resist water pressure. Made mostly of concrete, they are wide and heavy, pressing down so hard that water can't move them. We also have the arch dams, like the Kariba Dam, puff up upstream, so the water force pushes the arch into the canyon walls, not straight down the river. This design uses geometry to do the heavy lifting. Embankment dams made of earth and rock use compacted layers to distribute pressure evenly through the structure. They are flexible and ideal for wide valleys. Engineering for stability. To stop leaks, engineers build impermeable cores made from clay, asphalt, and concrete. Drainage galleries inside the dam help relieve pressure while sensors constantly monitor stress, movement, and temperature. Every dam sits on a specially prepared foundation and cut deep into solid rock to prevent sliding or cracking. How dams release water safely? If the reservoir fills too much, spillways let water flow out safely. Some are controlled with gates or valves Others are free flowing, like overflow channels. This prevents overtopping, which could cause catastrophic failures. Even the release of water through turbines for electricity is carefully designed to control pressure and flow. Example The Uber Dam, for instance, holds back 35 billion cubic meters of water from Lake Mead. Its base is 200 meters thick, that's two football feet wide, and it stands over 220 meters tall. It generates enough electricity to power over 1.3 million homes across the Nevada, Arizona, and California. Dams are among humanity's most powerful tools, but also massive responsibilities. Poorly designed or maintained dams can fail catastrophically, causing floods and loss of life. That's why engineers constantly inspect, reinforce, and modernize dams to adapt to new environmental and safety challenges. In conclusion, a dam isn't just concrete. It's a delicate balance between force and stability, nature and engineering. By mastering water, engineers make life possible in places that would otherwise be dry or flooded. That's how we hold back billions of liters and keep the world flowing. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned to this channel 
where we explain the structures that shape our planet. Also like, share and subscribe to the channel.